Hello and welcome to Water Color Tips, Tools, and Techniques. Now, as you remember from last time, uh, we said we'd complete this sketch in our studio here. So let's get started with that right now. Okay, now if you remember, I said to be sure and take a photo when you were out, when we were out doing our uh, gorilla sketch. Here is the part that we did not finish in the painting. So I have this part of the picture enlarged. So we can paint from this while we're back in the studio. So I have the photo up on the computer screen right across the room. All I have to do is glance over my shoulder to kind of look and see what we're going to do here. Okay, so let's get started. Now first I'm going to do the rocks by just putting in a, a wash of Payne's Gray. take this plastic ruler use the edge of it to put in a little bit of detail here here again this is a sketch so I'm not going to put in too much detail but I thought I'd try and put in a little here here we'll put in some sap green mixed with a little medium yellow to bring in this first plant here. And we'll darken that up a bit by putting a little black with sap green and come back over the plant. And there's another plant up here. Same type of a plant so we'll kind of do the same thing up here on top. to indicate some grass up there. Here again, this is uh, sap green with kind of a lemon yellow mixed in. And let's put in some of the foreground grass. Same color, uh, a little heavier mix. Throw some grass blades in there and things like that. And there's some orange mums right in here. Let's put in the first indication of those lightly, just using some orange. I'm gonna put in some darker green behind the rock, mainly to make the rock stand out a little bit and it'll serve as a plant behind the rock. And let's add some more green plants right around the rock. Here again, uh, just to make the rock stand out a little more. I'm gonna speed the clip up a little bit while I add some of this detail. You can kind of see and follow along with what I'm doing here. clip showing some uh, putting in some of the details in the path and that kind of thing just using a big brush uh, with some burnt umber and uh, a little bit of Payne's gray just to give the path some texture and that type of thing and here's the finished sketch that we started outdoors and finished in the studio and it should be nothing more than a sketch well, I hope you enjoyed this little exercise and we'll see you next time.